work, you use yeah. the concept of phenomenology Indeed. to yeah. make sense of some of those impacts. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that and, and what sort of um, senses you, you're working on? Your well, work? I think John's um, narrative was very instructive in that regard. I mean, uh, this is a broader approach in anthropology where we might study uh, phenomenologically, that is, we are in the world as human beings with bodies that sense the world. We smell, we feel, we hear, um, we taste. Uh, and this is very important to our experience of the world, of the environment. Um, and this is a very um, useful perspective to apply to extractive industries as well. In the beginning, when I was growing up, mm. um, you had a shower, you turned the tap on, mm. and what come out was gas. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'd have a shower and early in the morning gas would come out mm. and you'd be sprayed, you'd be sprayed with gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. um, you could smell it in the water mm. and um, I know the person that was doing the water years and years ago, mm. they, there was something wrong with one of the bores and what they found is it was stopped by a heap of gas yeah, and yeah. if you lit that it would go up in the air. Yeah, that was yeah. long before coal seam yeah. gas was here yeah. and bleeding noses mm. as I was growing up bleeding noses lots of the kids that mm. I went to school with mm. you'd look at them and they get bleeding noses mm. Mm. Um, members of my family mm. when they were growing up they were skinny little kids mm. and they had bleeding noses so mm. I don't know what the bleeding noses is about sure. whether it's been sure. always here or yeah. Or something else, mm, mm, I really don't know. Mm. We've got this big world mm, mm. and we're digging holes into it mm, mm. and taking gas out. Mm. What that does to the earth, mm. the cleverest scientists in the world wouldn't know mm, mm. what exactly what that is causing to the environment. So you are a little bit concerned, uh, is that uh, fair to say? Uh, I'm cons concerned because I don't believe mm. Anybody really knows mm. what mm. drilling into the, the earth yeah. yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. does, but mm. then, then again, I don't know if it's doing any harm. Mm. Mm. But I don't, I can't assume there's doing any good either because yeah, yeah. because it is. And the biggest problem is probably mm. taking so much water out of the water table. That's a big concern. Mm. What what have been some of the sort of bodily effect of, of, you know, I guess the whole development in your view. I mean, uh, you mentioned the taste of the water. I mean, is there, a, is there other, is there smells that, you, you know? Well, I say sometimes there is, like um, at times you have really bad odours. But right. as I say to people, you know, after you're here for a while, I said, you don't sort of notice. I said, unless it's a feed lot. Mm. which is really pungent, mm. you sort of, you don't smell anything, right. you know. Um, I've walked out the back door and been knocked off my feet three times, mm. you know. I sat in the toilet one day and my wife rang the ambulance because she found me passed out on the outside of the toilet because I knew when the lights were exploding in my eyes, I was in trouble. Yeah, right, right. And I'd open the door, fell out on the floor and, yeah, got shipped off to Tara Hospital mm. um, where they'd done all the tests and then I had many tests afterwards from the brain scan to heart scans and mm. there's nothing, you know, and no explanation. Mm. Mm. And so, yeah. Yeah. But um, like I say, the common things were um, nosebleeds, ear bleeds, ear aches, headaches, mm. um, your watery eyes to the point where we've been to the eye doctors now, we've got eye drops because we've got dehydrated eyes, mm. um, rashes that just, you know, like, yeah. it doesn't stop. It, yeah. it, I, I presume it's something that continually dries the skin. And, uh, and none of this ever, ever you, you experienced previously? No, yeah. we mm. had not mm. a problem before. And is this more common in, in the region, do you know? Or? Seems to be. Uh -huh. And like at the minute I was talking to a mate in town there and he tells me that it's starting to get people in town. He's got a son that's got um, dermatitis, never had it in his life. And he said if he puts the cream on, keeps the cream up to it, mm. there's mm. not a problem. But he said he knows of about 42 other children that have similar problems. In Chinchilla, we're talking about. Around yeah. the town. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And mm. I was talking to another lady the other day that's saying the elderly are starting to get like brown sunspots sort of thing. And mm. I know from a guy up the road who, they used to use the water, not, 
because the company said it's fine. Mm. Um, and he was covered from head to toe in mm. this rash. And then when he'd go to away, like when he first moved to town, it mm. disappeared. Mm. Or he went away to work, it would disappear. And as soon as he'd come home, it would be back again. Mm. And I see some of the elderly people starting to come up in it now, and a few more are talking about it. Mm. And the same as some of the guys that live on the southern side of town are mm. talking about this taste that they get in their mouth of an afternoon. Mm. Because it depends on the kind of environmental conditions, is that right? Wind direction? Uh... Seems to be a lot, but right. like for us now it doesn't really matter too much because right. I think in that probably direction there, there in probably 15 degrees, that's about the only place there's nothing overly yet. They're mm. down drilling up at the minute in that area. Mm. But I mean there's flares, I think there's eight or nine down at Brentley Park. You've got the Origin one basically straight behind me, mm. um, and then there's 18 or 19 around this other scope. Flares so. are burning of excess gas, is that right? Or yeah, not, not generally, just, yeah. but um, uh, well, they tell me it's illegal to vent them now, mm. but you know, uh, you could probably walk out there and find 10 or 12 that are just venting into the air. Mm. You know, mm. um, and mm. what do you do? I, I've rang the department. And as people say to me, you know, mm. oh, you must ring EHP or the Department of this mm. or the Department of that. And I, I just call them the Department of Doolittle now mm. because they just don't say, you know, um, if they came out and tested, well, they would have found what's here. <laughs>